Cool Cameron Hero C Butters Tech. I want to talk about NVIDIA Advanced Optimus. Now, it's coming on a lot of laptops this year in 2023, specifically the Asus ROG laptops. Almost every single one is coming with that feature enabled. So I wanted to dive in and show you how to make that work because some of the settings are not super intuitive. Uh, before we get into that, why is this so important? Well, it basically comes down to we can eke out a little bit more performance. Uh, and the reason that is, is uh, traditionally laptops, when they have beefy GPUs and integrated graphics, uh, the beefy GPU has to say, hey, integrated graphics, these are the pixels that the screen needs. And then the iGPU has to say, hey, screen, here's the pixels that the beefy GPU told me that we needed to put on the screen. And so there's this like two-step process in order to display things from your beefy NVIDIA GPU. Now the mug switch made it so the beefy GPU could talk directly to the screen, which increased performance. However, when you have that, you take the iGPU out of the equation and then uh, you can't use the power saving features of the iGPU. It's not as big, it can kind of do basic things and not use the power that the beefier GPU would use. So uh, the downside of the MUX switch is you have to reboot your computer in order to use uh, the direct connection to the screen that the DGPU has. Uh, with Advanced Optimus, it basically lets you in software, inside, while Windows is running, switch back and forth between the Optimus mode, where the beefy GPU is talking through the iGPU, which is power efficient, and from the mode where the beefy GPU talks directly to the screen. So it gives you those options without rebooting. That's basically the, the gist of it. All right, so let's look at all of this in practice. Right now, we're looking at... Uh, a device that has advanced optimus this is the z13 2023 edition and it has an rtx 4050 and it also has the igpu as part of that 13900h so you just say you just got this laptop you're excited oh i've got advanced optimus i better enable that where do i where do i go okay gpu mode ultimate it's got to be ultimate it's not so if you click ultimate it wants to reboot, but you're like, well, I don't have to reboot with Advanced Optimus. What's that about? So the ultimate mode is going to enable your MUX switch, which is going to get you the same benefits of being on GP only. Uh, but that's not Advanced Optimus that lets you toggle back and forth while Windows is running. So I would actually recommend not ever switching in ultimate on at all. There's no reason to on this particular laptop or a ROG laptop that has Advanced Optimus. So what do you actually, how do you actually configure Advanced Optimus in this? Well, if we zoom out just a little bit, what you really want to do to enable this is go down and right click your NVIDIA icon and go into the NVIDIA control panel. Inside the NVIDIA control panel, you have a manage display mode and we've got some options here. And let's zoom in so we can see that a little better. Now, again, you may come into to this and, and say, oh, it says Optimus. I did it. I've got advanced Optimus. I've, I've selected Optimus. That's great. Okay, what you're, the, that's not exactly true. Optimus is actually the same mode that every laptop with a discrete GPU and iGPU already is using. Optimus is the technology that lets the beefy GPU talk through the iGPU to the screen. So you, that's, that's just normal mode. Optimus is normal. What the advanced Optimus is are these features. It's the automatic select feature and the NVIDIA GPU only feature. So th this button right here, this is what actually lets you enable the, um, your MUX switch without rebooting. So for example, I'm gonna just go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna say NVIDIA GPU only. And when I click that, you actually see the screen like freeze up slightly because it's uh, literally reconfiguring this, the connection between the screen and which GPU it's, it's talking to. So now the, the NVIDIA GPU is active now and you can verify that because you can see right here it says 
discrete graphics, but also you got all the features that you get when your display is directly connected to the discrete GPU. You've got G-Sync, you've got all the resolution and color settings that come as part of NVIDIA when it's talking directly to the display. So now uh, we're good. Our MUX switch is on, we are rolling, we'll get really fast frame rates uh, in this NVIDIA GPU only mode. The other advanced Optimus feature is this automatic select. So you may, you know, if we turn the GPU on, now you're using more power. And if you're running on battery or, you know, you don't want your computer running super hot all the time, uh, you click automatic select. And when you're not playing a game, it's gonna turn off the discrete graphics. It's gonna say, hey, there's no reason to be on discrete graphics right now. Let's just switch to normal integrated graphics. So it's using the iGP right now, but if I turned on a game right now, if I were to load it up, it would automatically turn on the discrete graphics. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and, and turn on Final Fantasy 15 benchmark. And you heard the driver, it actually kind of blipped and it says display mode is now on NVIDIA GPU only. So it recognized a game had started and it said, let's, no, let's flip over to the NVIDIA GPU. And if I turn it off, it actually kind of freezes up for a split second. And now we are back on the integrated graphics. So uh, that's what this automatic select section is actually NVIDIA Advanced Optimus. This is how you get to it. This is how you do it. And uh, it's really good. So um, with now you know how to enable your Advanced Optimus. Let's talk once again, just briefly, all of the graphical settings on here and what my recommendations would be. So uh, Ultimate, I would never touch that. Standard, I would use that definitely because that lets you get into the GPU settings with NVIDIA and you can basically turn your MUX switch on and off in here. So what I would do, I actually am not a fan of the automatic select personally because it kind of flips your drivers on and off and it's actually kind of jarring. I mean, it's not really, but it takes about two seconds for those drivers to switch over. So here's what I do. When I want to be playing a game, I usually know, hey, I'm going into a gaming session, you know, or I'm going into an editing or a CAD session where I need that GPU to be active and I want the most performance possible. So I would actually use this more than anything. I would switch into NVIDIA GPU mode only when you know you're gonna be playing games um, and that way you're not going to be constantly, you know, you close your game and it flips over and then you open your game, it flips over. It's constantly kind of bugging you. I would just use this mode. And, uh, and then when you're done playing a game and you, you just want to, you know, use the battery kind of couch serve, you're just going to be browsing the web or watching videos. I would, uh, switch that back into Optimus mode. like so and what that lets you do is you can now use this eco mode so if you switch into the eco mode through armory crate <clears throat> i would always be in this mode if you're only watching videos and browsing the web always be in eco mode because then it's not going to touch your beefy gpu that's going to waste power and now you can see it even disabled the gpu completely when you're in the eco mode. So you're gonna use the least amount of power uh, in eco mode, and then when you're ready to game, flip it to standard. And open up your control panel. And turn the NVIDIA GPU only on There you go. And at this point, now you're able to know, hey, I'm, I'm running off of my NVIDIA graphics and I'm gonna be running as fa fast as possible and good to go. So those are your two modes. I mean, for me, it's, it's like I'm either gaming or I'm not, 
or so that's what I would recommend as far as configuring your settings. But now you can make the best choice for you. You know where the settings are. You know what they mean. And um, if this video has been useful to you, I'm happy for that. Go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you on the next ones.